Greek is Savage here today. I'm bringing you back so you can check out an interview that I did with WWE legend Mick Foley. There we go. Okay, go ahead. What is one match that you could have, out of all the matches you've had, what's the one that sticks out the most? Sticks out the most? The well, most. you know what? I had an uh, opportunity to watch these, uh, uh, watch the DVD while I was signing here, right here at the Beast Mode in Historia. And, uh, you know, I really loved that Mind Games match I had with uh, Shawn Michaels. That one sticks out as well as the Backlash match against Randy Orton. I remember that one. And uh, if there was a superstar that you could have worked with and you did it, who would have been? Uh, I should have had, I wish I could have uh, 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 had that one last match and had it with CM Punk. That would have been a good one. Yeah, yeah it would have been nice, like man. I can't have now. You think now. you got one more match? Definitely not. Referee, uh, special guest referee? Uh, I'm not even in good enough condition to referee anymore. Uh, yeah. Commentate. Uh, uh, I'd know, like to I, see that, honestly. I did a nice job uh, on the pre-show and post-show with uh, Renee Young, okay. um, who, is, uh, who lives right here in Astoria, by the way. Awesome. And uh, I made it very clear to the people in WWE that I would welcome that opportunity. Oh, really? to oh, you hear that right here live at Beast yeah, New York? Right. Nick news. Foley, breaking news, commentator. He should be uh, the future of SmackDown. For our main event, we'll see well, yeah, yeah, shows yeah. today. I am the general Why manager of Saturday Morning Slam. Oh, uh, right now, uh, we're on hiatus until uh, September because of the network show. So are we, they going to uh, make that a longer show or is it going to stay that half hour? Uh, I'm not really sure. You remember back in the day, a long time ago, they used to have those awesome Saturday morning shows? Oh, yeah, yeah. And once every three years, Hulk Hogan would come on or something like that? Oh, and have a match, yeah. 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 But the whole WWE revolved around that Saturday yeah, morning. Uh, the, I think Superstars is the name of the show. I think you can do it again. Uh, it's, it's quite possible. Hopefully, the, you guys can, uh, you and the whoever else is working on it, can drive it into the future and bring it back. I'm just looking around. This is so nice. I like here, it. Man. Take a look around. We got yeah. the. You remember this? Did you ever play this? Oh, yeah. This is back in my day. Look at this. <laughs> This is like old school. This is a vision. It's, that's, that's I have a lot of old systems hooked up over here. There's a guy with a vision and made it happen, right? That's what you do when yes, you're when you aspiring to wrestle or do something uh, uh, outside of the box. You have to have that vision and follow it through. 100%. 100%. Hopefully, you'll see McCauley soon in the WWE. Another Hall of Fame. I should give you another ring. You should be in there twice. I already lost my ring. You lost no, the ring? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I knew I would have, so I, I leave what, it what at home. What made you doing the comedy? You know what the uh, the comedy is more. I should have should have turned. I should. I have to come up with a name for what I do. It's not like stand up uh, punchline. Comedy, it's uh, storytelling with an emphasis okay. on humor. And uh, I, I there was a natural extension of uh, speaking to colleges. The natural extension of writing the books. It's a natural extension of living experiences through wrestling. So uh, there's a lot of funny, you know, a lot of surreal things that go on in the world of wrestling. And, uh, you know, you learn. You make for great stories, though. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Don't forget, yeah. well, McCool has got an event coming up at Caroline's June. June 2nd? June 2nd. And, Don't uh, miss that one's going to sell out. Uh, we're going to make it sell out. June 6th sold. at the brokerage in Belmore, Nassau County. Uh, we got plenty of tickets left there, but you can uh, catch uh, uh, either one by going to realmcfoley.com and clicking on events. You oh. must be disappointed. Definitely not. McFoley, thank you so much for uh, stopping thank by. Thank you. I really so enjoyed my time here. Thank Honored you. to have you. Yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you for joining thank us. You. See you next year. It was an honor and a pleasure interviewing WWE legend Mick Foley. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully one day you'll see me interview someone like The Rock or Stone Cold or maybe even CM Punk. Take care, guys.